All right, here at No Reserve we have our super hard to find 1997 uh, Ford F-250. It's a 4x4 and it's the heavy duty option, the HD. Uh, it's got the 7.3 liter power stroke, turbo diesel, automatic transmission, and a full XLT package. Uh, it's got the automatic hubs, manual shift transfer case. Uh, it's only got 162,000 original miles. Always been a north, northwest truck up here where we use no salt on the road. So it's an amazing original condition. This is uh, top to bottom, 100% all original paint. Uh, it's in the vermilion red clear coat with the Oxford white bottom. It's got the pinstripe. Uh, just in really hard to find condition in this with these kinds of miles. We'll start off on the inside. It's a non-smoker, no pets. Uh, it's got the light gray. You can see it's just super clean throughout. Um, we just had this truck gone through. I had the rear end fully rebuilt. It was making just a little bit of carrier bearing noise, so we wanted to get that taken care of. Um, this is just a decal to uh, something at some point, some type of sticker, but uh, it's going to come right off. But you can just see right through the dog legs, the cab corners. I mean, the paint's just beautiful throughout. Uh, no clear coat lifting, no chips, no, no stress cracks. Um, you can see throughout here there's no tape marks. Um, if they would have painted in the door jams, you'd see tape around here. And if they didn't paint in, you'd see tape mark right here. And that goes throughout the whole truck. Um, we really try to find, kind of specialize in original paint stuff. You know, every once in a while, you do get trucks that have clear coat issues. Um, and they do have repaints that we come across. But uh, for the most part, we try to stick with original paint stuff. Uh, it's got an armor coat, spray bed liner. You can see all. The, you can see this truck's been really well taken care of. It's had a canopy on it most of its life. Uh, you can kind of see there's some some marks from when the adhesive on here. But uh, the bulkhead's nice and straight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take you around the. We'll go ahead and there's a couple little marks on the uh, the seat, but it does have a tr nice trailer brake prodigy trailer brake controller. I have towed the truck. I have used it and put some miles on it. Steering column's nice and tight. Uh, it has a steering wheel cover on there. Obviously those get a little worn. Uh, it has the nice split seat with the cup holders. It still has this piece. Most of you Ford guys know these pieces are usually just gone. Uh, folds up and it's got uh, seat belts for three. It's got a couple little marks in the uh, material right here. But uh, nice and Foam's in good condition, cloth's in good condition, the plastics aren't broken off like you sometimes see. Um, it's got the, uh, it's got a nice little, you know, it's got the carpet back here, but then it's got a nice little cargo area where you can st stick stuff in. Um, there's quite a bit of room back there. But, uh, you know, it's a little discolored here, but no holes in the vinyl right here. It does have the black option rather than the silver, which I always like to see. It just looks a little cleaner, um, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you around the passenger side here. Show you the interior. The, the lighting is starting to go here. Um, it's a little bit towards the end of the day. Um, I'll go ahead and it's got nice floor mats, but the carpets are in nice shape. You know, a little bit of darkening. Um, just a little bit of discoloring, you know, on the entry size, but I mean, really you can't even notice it. Um, and then around the uh, driver's side, vinyl pad, if you lift that up, I'll show that in a little bit. Just kind of forgot about it. Little mark, little tear in, right there. But other than that, the interior is just in excellent condition. It looks like the uh, this was repaired at one point. Still looks good, but you can tell it's been repaired. Um, but this piece does pop off with about 10 um, 3 8 nuts on the inside. It has a nice Alpine CD player um, with a remote. And it's got a hookup for your iPod, and it is XM ready. ready. Um, here's the, you know, the receipt and the warranty for the... Um, bearing the rebuild so you can see we went through and got that done um, the oil change is good stick that in there uh, the ashtray is a nice shape you see it's never been smoked in just super clean this isn't loose or broken door panels in perfect shape no holes or anything still the writing on the plastics are real nice condition again you can see the the, cherry, the, the bright red paint is just in phenomenal condition. I mean, the passenger side's got almost no entry wear. Um, they're just hard to find, these power strokes. I mean, the diesels were bought to be used. They're hard to find with these low miles, but it's also hard to find them in this condition. Um, so I'm gonna start at the driver's side and walk around this. There's underside photos, there's top side photos, there's a driving video. So I hope you guys can stick around with that. Um, it had a bug guard on it most of its life, so you're not gonna find even one rock chip on the front here. Um, 
I guess the guy got a little bit of a crack in it right before we got it and he took it off. Um, but the headlights are nice and clear, no condensation in any of them. There's a little mark in the bumper plastics, but the chrome otherwise is a nice deep reflection. Um, the gray coves are still nice, just a tad bit of fading, but other than that, they still, still look great. Um, the blacks, all the moldings of black plastics are still a nice deep black. They don't have a gray tinge to them. You know, the HD is different than the regular F250. It's a little heavier duty suspension, bigger cooling, uh, dual piston calibers rather than single, um, some other little things. This cowl here looks like maybe somebody might have put their knee on it. Um, didn't do any paint damage, but maybe when they're washing it. Um, there's a couple of little chips right here. These are fixable, they're not cracked. Um, and there's one up in front of the passenger side. Well, the mirrors, I mean, all you Ford guys know, this is just typical. I've had some trucks with 40,000, 70,000 original miles, and, you know, the bad news is these these mirrors are just cheaply made, so the chrome delaminates, but the good news is um, they're still cheap, so you can buy a brand new set off eBay or Amazon LMC, you know, usually starting about 30 bucks. Um, there's a little scratch right there. And a little scratch right there. Looks like maybe they might have... Just maybe, just kind of like a, a brush scratch, so that would probably just polish out. Uh, the original pinstriping is a little cracked when you get close. Um, throughout the bottom, um, the bottom pinstriping, you know, this is original paint, original pinstriping, it's a single piece. You always know it's original paint because if they replace this pinstriping, you, you can't get this from Ford and you haven't been able to for a couple decades. So it's just one piece. If they had to redo it, it'd be like red with another piece of silver on the top. So that's always a, another indicator of original paint. Rockers are in beautiful shape, just a couple little stone chips. A couple little tiny chips right there. You know, you have some entry kind of like just surface scratches, but this would all buff out if you wanted to get in there and get crazy. The bedsides are amazing, and that's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of like a canopy truck or tonneau truck usually has just beautiful bedsides. You know, a little scratch there. They don't have the big light side loading scratches. A little chipping right there. Um, you know, you will see some little tiny surface scratch like that but uh, and then the very end here probably when the, at one point taking the canopy off this is usually you'll see this on the Broncos and the canopy truck somebody was kind of let go but a uh, little scuffing the paint there both tail lights are a little bit faded but you know no condensation no cracks or chips uh, tailgate has your typical tailgate wear with some little little uh, ding there a little ding there but um, you can see the guy went through and touched it up you know you have some chips up here little scratches, um, but pretty much from this body line down, it's in really nice shape. Um, bridge all pinstriping did get peeled off at some point. Bumper's in nice shape. Guy, it looks like they might have bumped into something right here on the chrome and gnarled up the bumper pad a little bit. We'll come to the passenger side here and it has a couple, it has some scratches in it, you know. They're really hard to see. I mean, some of them you might be able to get out, but like there's these ones here, maybe someone dropped something. And these are kind of what I was talking about, the typical side load scratches. You usually see more of this stuff on the driver's side because the driver tends to be the one putting stuff in more. But uh, I'm not sure what these would be from, but some, just some little hairline scratches. A um, little deeper one that tracks up there. A couple of chips here. Again, the kind of entry. But the door felts, you know, this is kind of how you can tell by that. You know, you look at the headlights and the door felts on these trucks and you can tell, you know, how it's it's been garaged, you know, all the rubbers. The black here is nice and black. It's not faded to a gray, you know, never been painted. Um, it does have an XM magnet, you know, but that they mounted here. I'd probably find a different place for it, but they have moved around. It has put a couple little surface scratches on there. It's got a pretty good sized chip on the hood right there. And then um, a common thing on these trucks is, is the hood hinges will get worn or somebody will spring the hood up real fast and they'll hyper extend the hood hinge and then they'll go to grab it. And if you don't pay attention or realize um, it'll put a little bit of a bend on the hood here but it didn't do any paint damage so you could you could iron this out there's you know I've had it done before um, at body shops but they'll kind of put a piece of block of wood in here and pull on it with either um, you know come along or something and get it to flatten back out and adjust the hood engine bring it down but as of right now it does have a little bit of an arch to it it's not kinked or it doesn't have a diamond to it so um, you're looking pretty good a little surface scratch there and beautiful rockers. I mean, this is just some stuff in the paint. You could probably get off of some lacquer thinner. Um, not sure what it is about these trucks, but I have a, I've had a ton of trucks down on the bedside right here. It looks like maybe they didn't see something on the passenger side and they just bumped into something. Uh, not a lot of paint damage. The only paint damage is a little scratch right there. Um, and, you know, it is white down here, so it is pretty tough to see. I mean, standing here, you know, most people wouldn't notice it unless I pointed it out. 
So I'm gonna take you underneath the hood. The underside of the, the body is just amazingly clean and dry. Uh, transmission's really clean. Uh, looks like it could have been gone through. Shift's really nice. Um, you know, the headliner's in nice shape. A little bit of sagging, but it be honest with you, um, when it heats up, it goes, uh, when I mean when it cools down, it goes back up. So, um, depending on where you are and your temperature, you know, we pulled it out of the shop this morning and it looked great. Um, got real hot today and uh, kind of fell down a little bit. But this is another thing that kind of shows the condition and care this truck's got. These felt uh, heat protectors are usually long gone on these things. Um, batteries were replaced just in 2015. Uh, we did the fuel filter. It's got an external fuel cleaner too. Uh, filter on there, so it's always nice to see that. Just really nice shape. Bolts have never been messed with. Just a really nice and clean motor. I mean, it start, starts fires right up, no cold start issue, just doesn't need to be plugged in. You can see the bolts have never been messed with. So, hopefully you guys can stick around with the uh, driving video. Oh, I did need to show you a couple things. And that's the chip right there, I forgot about. And, you know, we can get the window replaced for you for 185 bucks, but we tend not to because most of our trucks ship out and we've had a couple of windows get, brand new windows get chipped and over the years and it's just kind of one of those things that maybe we just hold, pump the brakes on. But you can see just around the rubber padding it's a little dark, um, not dark, but just a little worn and discolored. But I mean for 20, you know, 21 year old interior on a three quarter ton 4x4 diesel truck, I mean it's just an amazing shape. And you can hear how that door shuts, I mean there's not a single hinge issue on this thing, beautiful gaps. I mean, it just sounds like a nice, nice high quality briefcase getting locked up. But again, this is going to no reserve 162,000 mile two owner 4x4, uh, 7.3 power stroke diesel is a very hard truck to find nowadays. So uh, good luck and please let me know if you have any questions.